If you've been following this channel, you know that I use a Canon 60D. It's an eight year old camera and I'm using it right now, actually. Why am I still using this old dinosaur? What I'm about to say may make more sense if I give you some context. Let's start from the beginning. Bought this camera in 2010. Brand new camera at the time. Lot of buzz about the whole flip screen thing. This is back when shooting with DSLRs was a game changer. Being able to shoot 1080 full HD, big deal. I used my Canon 60D and this camera, a Canon PowerShot, to shoot my senior thesis film, Seafood Tester. You can find it on my channel. That film went on to screen at the Oscar qualifying Aspen Shorts Film Fest in 2012. Pretty big deal. Total that film cost me $1,500 to make. And we shared the same screen in competition with other films that cost anywhere from $30,000 to $300,000. They weren't using DSLRs. Lars. They were using big boy cameras. And then I shot my first feature film, Unsound. 2000 Volkswagens, how sick is that gonna be? If we pull this off, this is gonna start our careers. Mm. I feel it on my bones. Uh, I feel it on my hand. I don't know if she's supposed to be on meds, in an institution. I don't know, I don't care. I shot it with my Canon 60D, this little guy, and a GoPro Hero 2. It took me seven years to complete that film, from writing it to releasing it. I met a lot of people, learned a ton, and we had a lot of success on the film festival circuit, and again, we shared the screen with other films that cost five and 10 times more money. I started vlogging on YouTube in 2013. Guess what I used? My Canon 60D, this Canon Power Shot, and my GoPro Hero 2. I would turn these cameras on, but they don't work anymore. I shot freelance commercial gigs, small corporate spots, more short films. If I wasn't renting gear, I was using my Canon 60D. So what's my point? When I started shooting Unsound in 2012, there were already better cameras on the market. My 60D was two years old at this point, almost two years. When I started YouTube in 2013, about a year later, there were even better, cheaper cameras on the market. When I passed 100,000 subscribers in 2016, Practically every camera on the marketplace was better. In every way. Now here we are, it's about to be 2019, and what camera am I still using? Same old camera. Why is that? I wish I had an amazing, mind-blowing answer for you, but it's actually super basic. I still use it because I'm comfortable with it. I know this camera like the back of my hand. I can practically go into the menus blindfolded and change settings. When I'm racing against the clock shooting something with no crew, I can move faster because I know the camera so well. It's like using a third arm. Sure, I could have rented a camera for a few of my short films, but you wanna know what I was thinking? If I rent a camera, I gotta spend more money, I gotta do camera tests, I gotta look up a bunch of reviews, I gotta get familiar with the placement of all the settings, all of the features, research, research. I don't feel like doing all that, so I'll just use my camera. Sponsored. Well, this video is sponsored by the good peeps over at Squarespace. Building a website can be a complicated process or it can be simple. You can start your free Squarespace trial today at squarespace.com forward slash D for Darius. If you use the code D for Darius, you will get 10% off of your first purchase. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. You don't have to deal with plugins, no updates, no patches ever. They also have 24 seven customer support 365 days a year. Good news, website for the short film, Onions. You can check it out at notcoolshortfilm.com. I will leave a link in the description section as well. We got a few BTS vids happening over there. Check them out. And yeah, Squarespace was actually very, very, very easy to use. So if you need a website and you're not into building them, this is a good service. If all goes well, the next video I release will be the short film. Again, you can start your free Squarespace trial today at squarespace.com forward slash D for Darius. And if you use the D for Darius coupon code, you will get 10% off of your first purchase. Reason number two, upgrading my camera was the last thing on my list of priorities. You see a lot of films when you go to film festivals. I've seen some really good films that were shot with T3Is and I've seen some not so good films that were shot with Reds. This really kind of puts things into perspective. So what's more important than upgrading your camera? That is an awesome question. Let's take a look at my first YouTube video. Well, hello world, or YouTube, or whoever it is watching. I'm Darius J. Britt. I am a writer, director, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, why are we here? To answer that question, I need a little bit of backstory. Uh, we done done it. We went out and we made a feature length movie. I was using the same camera, so what's the difference? Better hostmanship, better lighting, better production design, better framing, color grading, better fonts, better graphics. I was focused on everything else. Everything behind the camera and everything in front of it. Having a red camera is not gonna teach you how to direct actors. Having an Alexa is not gonna teach you how to frame your shots. Having a black magic Ursa is not gonna teach you how to light a scene. Having an A7S Mark 24 
isn't gonna teach you when to go in for a close up. Not gonna teach you how to pace your films. It's not gonna teach you color theory. None of these cameras are gonna teach you how to tell a story. My Canon 60D lacks a lot of things and the slow-mo is a joke. But I've made an award-winning feature film with this camera. I've built a YouTube channel with over 300,000 subscribers with this camera. I've learned everything I know about filmmaking with this eight-year-old crappy camera. But if you're just starting out, please don't get caught up in all the camera hype. There is a laundry list of things that will make a bigger difference in your work. As for me, I'm officially retiring the 60D. I'm still gonna use it for YouTube videos, but only for this setup right here. This, just me talking to a camera, not using it for any short films or anything else. When I shoot shorts for you guys, I think I wanna like cycle through different cameras each time. I'm using the Panasonic G7 on this current shoot that I'm finishing up. I like it, it's a fun little camera. If you cats wanna check out my first feature length film, Unsound, the one that I shot with the Canon 60D, I will leave a link below in the description section. Huge, huge passion project of mine. I spent seven years of my life on it. So yeah, I think you'll dig it. I think you'll dig it. Thank you for watching, keep hustling, and remember, a bad workman blames his tools. Deeper to out! Three great top packs. OTC, PLT, three great top packs. Copy, three great.